Okay, now let's say that you have your project in one file. You've got one long document that contains all of the chapters of your book or your report or project. Um, again, you can bring that into Scrivener and I'm going to show you a few ways in which you can import that directly into Scrivener and then quickly and easily um, split it into its necessary parts. So I'm going to do that by going here to File, Import Files. Again, you could drag and drop like I showed you in the previous video. Um, and I'm going to go for this. This is the full text of my novel, The Art of Love. It may take a little bit of time because it's a longer document, but it's converting this file into a Scrivener friendly file ready for us to um, work on. And there we go. We can now see it in our draft folder. Uh, I'm going to call this chapter one. But um, obviously this is the, the full text from my book and uh, I want it to be split into its necessary parts. Now there are a few ways to do that. Um, if I just scroll through, here's where chapter two began in the, um, the, the final draft document. If I press the um, control or the command, the command key on, on Apple or control key on a PC and the letter K, it will split this file where I placed the cursor. And so now you can see this file is split. I've just got chapter one here. Um, and where I put my cursor and, and press command K, it's broken it into two files now, beginning where, where I made the cut. And then I can come down and I can find where, where I want chapter three to begin and do the same. Command or control and K. And it's splitting it up. As you can see though, it's not um, giving me the proper chapter names. I'm just getting the, the kind of top level name and then uh, uh, one, two, three, four, and obviously this is chapter two. This is chapter three. Um, I found uh, I didn't discover this next little trick. Um, the the first time I was creating some recipe books, I had a hundred and one recipes in there, each obviously with a distinct name. It wasn't just chapter one, two, three. It was the names of each of the recipes. Um, and I split the chapters up. I split the Microsoft Word document up in this way and then had to go into here and rename each of the elements, each of the recipes with the correct name. What I didn't realize is that there is a much easier way to do this. And I'm going to show you that right now. So let's go down to where our next chapter begins, chapter four. Now, all you need to do is highlight what you, where you want it to be split and what you want the new name of your um, the, the document that will be created. What do you want the title of that to be? So you highlight the title um, in the document. So I've got here chapter four. And then I press um, the command key or control, Alt, and K. So it's control or command, alt and K. And when I do that, what has happened now is it's split the document. But as you can see, it's called the new document by the name of the highlighted text that I chose. So if I come down, we'll do it one more time quickly. Chapter five, highlight chapter five, Command or control, so command on the Apple, control on the PC, Alt and K. And there we go. I've got chapter five. And so you can go through your document in this way and um, just break it up into its necessary parts within Scrivener. And then you can work on the individual chapters within your draft folder.
So um, I'm going to show you one more way to do this now. Um, a another kind of quick and easy way to do this that will automate this process even a step further for you. Scrivener really is a tremendous time saver once you get your head round how it works. Okay, let's go on to the next video where we'll look again at adding content from another source.